10 Common Regrets People Have Before Dying, According to Psychology Exploring the regrets that people often experience near the end of their lives can be profoundly enlightening. In psychology, it is well established that contemplating our own mortality can offer a powerful perspective on life. We will be examining 10 Common Regrets People Have Before Dying, According to Psychology. Through this exploration, we may discover how to live more fully and with fewer regrets. Life is fleeting, but we have the power to shape our journey. Let's delve into these insights and find ways to navigate life with fewer regrets. 1. Living life true to oneself. One key lesson I've learned from my journey into mindfulness and Buddhism is the importance of authenticity. Regret often arises from living a life based on others' expectations rather than our own. As we near the end of life, we begin to recognize how much we have allowed others' opinions to shape our choices. Psychology supports this observation, with many people on their deathbed expressing regret about not having the courage to live true to themselves, instead of living as others expected. This serves as a powerful reminder for us all to follow our own path, to live authentically and genuinely, making choices that align with our values and aspirations rather than seeking to please or impress others. Ensure your life reflects who you truly are. Live without a mask and let your authentic self shine through. This is one of the best ways to avoid this common regret. 2. Investing time in relationships. As humans, we are inherently social beings, craving connections and relationships. However, in the hustle and bustle of life, we often neglect the bonds that truly matter. A common regret people have before dying is not investing enough time in their relationships. We become so absorbed in the daily grind that we forget to cherish the people around us. I personally felt this regret when I lost a dear friend. Looking back, I wish I had spent more time with him, creating more memories. Thich Nhat Hanh, a renowned mindfulness expert and Zen master, once said, the most precious gift we can offer others is our presence. When mindfulness embraces those we love, they will bloom like flowers. Let's take these wise words to heart and remember to invest time in our relationships. Let's be truly present with those we care about before it's too late. 3. Letting go of the ego. One of the most profound lessons I've learned from my exploration of Buddhism is the importance of letting go of the ego. This is crucial for living a mindful and fulfilling life. As death approaches, many people regret allowing their ego to dictate their choices and actions. They wish they had lived with less pride, less self-centeredness, and more humility. It's never too late to embark on this journey towards living with maximum impact and minimal ego. Don't let regret catch you off guard. 4. Embracing change. Change is a constant in life, yet many of us resist it, clinging to what is familiar and comfortable. A common regret people have before dying is not having embraced change more openly. They wish they had seized more opportunities, tried new things, and overcome their fear of the unknown. Renowned philosopher Alan Watts once said, the only way to make sense out of change is to plunge into it, move with it, and join the dance. This wisdom rings beautifully true. While we can't predict or control everything in life, we can control how we react to change. Let's join the dance, take risks, embrace new opportunities, and accept change with open arms. By doing so, we can live our lives to the fullest and leave no room for regrets when our time comes. 5. Understanding and living by your values. One of the key lessons I've learned on my journey is the importance of understanding my core values. This understanding is fundamental for making decisions that align with who I truly am. Unfortunately, many people reach the end of their lives only to realize they didn't live according to their values, instead allowing societal pressures or fleeting trends to dictate their choices. My friend, the talented life transition coach Jeanette Brown, has developed an incredibly insightful defining your values exercise. This practical tool helps you identify your core values and understand how they influence your actions. By understanding our values, we can make decisions that align with our true selves, a crucial step towards living a life of authenticity and fulfillment. 6. Taking care of health. Our health is our wealth, yet we often take it for granted. Many people nearing the end of their lives regret not taking better care of their health when they had the chance. They wish they had eaten healthier, exercised more regularly, and managed stress more effectively. It's never too late to start prioritizing your health. Simple daily habits can significantly improve your overall well-being. Begin with small changes like adding more fruits and vegetables to your diet, taking a daily walk, 
or learning to meditate. These small steps accumulate over time, leading to substantial improvements in health and well-being. Our health is our most valuable asset. Let's take care of it so we can enjoy life to the fullest, free of regrets. 7. Practicing Gratitude In my personal journey in teachings of mindfulness, one element has consistently made a profound impact, gratitude. Unfortunately, many people realize too late that they spent too much time focusing on what they lacked instead of appreciating what they had. Gratitude is a powerful practice that can transform our perspective on life. It helps us cherish simple joys, acknowledge the kindness of others, and recognize our own achievements. Incorporating gratitude into my daily routine has positively influenced my mindset and overall well-being. 8. Pursuing Passions Life is too short not to pursue what truly makes us happy. A common regret people have before dying is not allowing themselves the freedom to follow their passions. They wish they had spent less time on work or obligations and more on what genuinely brought them joy. As the late Steve Jobs once said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. This statement resonates deeply with me, and I hope it does with you too. It serves as a reminder for us all to follow our passions, to do what we love, and to create a life that brings us joy. 9. Embracing Imperfections In a world that often pushes us towards perfection, embracing our imperfections can seem counterintuitive. Yet, it's a key aspect of living without regret. Many people nearing the end of their lives regret the energy they wasted in pursuing perfection. They wish they had accepted their flaws and imperfections and lived more freely. Personally, I've found that embracing my imperfections has brought me closer to peace and self-acceptance. It's liberating to accept that we are not perfect, and that's perfectly okay. Our imperfections make us unique, they are part of our story and our journey. By embracing them, we can live more authentically and with less regret. It's a refreshing way to live, wouldn't you agree? 10. Forgiving and letting go. Carrying resentment and grievances can burden our hearts heavily. As we near the end of our lives, these burdens become even more evident. A common regret people have before dying is not forgiving and letting go of past hurts. They wish they had released these negative emotions to lead a more peaceful and joyful life. The practice of forgiveness is simple yet powerful. It doesn't entail forgetting or condoning the hurtful actions but rather freeing ourselves from the burden of resentment. So let's consciously decide today to forgive, to let go of past hurts. It's a liberating step toward living a life without regrets. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.